Right, Andre, media was not allowed inside the courtroom for the hearing today, but the teenage suspect's family walked out of the courthouse visibly upset, the first sign that things did not go in their favor. We wanted everyone to know he was not a bat-wielding maniac. He was a brother, a father, a son, a husband, a cousin, a friend, and um, we lost an amazing person. The family of Timothy Reynolds is speaking out about him. Relieved, a judge decided to reject a plea deal offer for the teen accused of killing him that would have moved the case to juvenile court. This is not a victory. It is not a cause for celebration. But it is a moment where the wheels of justice are turning in the right direction. It's not over. This is not the end. This is the beginning. And um, we're up for the challenge. Um, you know, this is just a battle. This is not the war. The suspect, a 15 year old squeegee worker, is charged with first degree murder for allegedly shooting and killing Reynolds at the corner of Light and Conway Streets in July after Reynolds got out of his car with a baseball bat. The suspect was 14 at the time. The judge looked at dash cam and CCTV video of the crime before making his decision. He just felt like that that uh, this boy was not amenable to whatever treatment modalities were available in the juvenile court. So he said that that was the most important thing to him. This crime was an adult crime, certainly accounted for a defendant who retrieved a bag and retreated only to pull a mask on and then to come back to that confrontation and shoot the victim five times, multiple times in the back. Reynolds' family is pleased with the decision, but say there are no winners in this case and there's still a long road ahead. This is just one hurdle in a set of hurdles that we have to go before us uh, to get justice for my brother. The city state's attorney also released a statement tonight saying in part the juvenile system is rooted in the goal of reform and it is my sincere hope that this young man will turn his life around and forever remember the damage he has done to the Reynolds family. So far, no court date has yet been set to hear this case in adult court. Reporting live downtown, Kim Day, CWBAL TV 11 News.